Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll talk to you about element welder. It's this button with a chain in the smart magnetry helpers panel. Element welder for Kineflex addresses a very specific issue which we have identified during the development of version 6 of EDAP tools. Even though one of the most amazing and coolest features of Kineflex is the soft rotation, we realize that uh, there are certain situations where we don't actually want the elements to rotate in soft rotation always. And this is what element welder does. It allows us to permanently weld elements for Kineflex so that they remain in hard rotation. One example, just uh, if we look at this character here, would be the back of the skirt. The back of the skirt is a separate element and it is obviously behind the legs. It is a child to the front of the skirt, which is also the pelvis. And if I snap it back, it uh, will snap in place. But if I try to rotate the front of the skirt, what happens is that we end up with the back of the skirt softly rotating. In this case, it just stays the way it is. So this is the problem that um, Element Welder solves. Let me just weld the back of the skirt to the front of the skirt. So I'll click on the element. This is now the back of the skirt is selected and I will press the element welder button. Upon press, we get the confirmation that one element has been welded. Now, if I rotate with Kineflex, you can see that the back of the skirt follows the front of the skirt during rotation. This means that now we can have two parts of the same object, one in front and one behind, and we can sandwich other elements in between them, as is the case with these, with these legs. You can see how natural it looks like when I move the leg it just uh, it just behaves as if it's uh, really inside of the skirt. So when an element like this is welded, we can very effectively pose our character just like this. And I can now shift the body weight a little bit like this. And now these are all in soft rotation. So one more thing that I'd like to show you before I uh, move into other explanations is that I have rigged this uh, skirt in a pretty cool way. I have synced the back and the front of the skirt. So by choosing frames in the panel, we can show a different type of opening. I'll go through that a little later. But for now, I will show you how welding works and what's the logic behind welding. Now let's look at a very simple example and disassemble the parts of this arm so that we can see how the elements are actually structured. So we have the upper arm, we have the lower arm and the hand, and then we have the two parts of the sleeve. Upper arm is the master parent in this simple structure. Then we have the lower arm and then we have the hand. And then we have the front part of the sleeve, a child of the lower arm and the back part of the sleeve, a child of the front part of the sleeve. How does this act when we grab Kineflex? It acts like this. We can modify the arm as a whole. Then we can, because the front part of the sleeve is apparent to the back part of the sleeve, we can rotate the sleeve. And again, if we grab the lower arm, both of these are children to the lower arm so they will follow 
And now something quite important about snapping. At the moment of welding, the rotation of the welded element is also remembered. So if you mistakenly rotate a welded element, you can snap it. The first press of smart magnet joints will snap it into position. And then the second press of smart magnet joints, the tilde button, will rotate it the way it was welded to its parent. So the rotation can be maintained as well. If we mistakenly rotate these too much, we can always just snap them back in their position. Now, because they're in place, only one press of the smart magnet joint button will snap them back in the original relative rotation in relation to the lower arm. I'll show you this other example and then I will unrig this and rig it in front of you. But um, here with the bracelet, it's the same story. What we have here is this bracelet, which is made up of two parts, the front and the back. So the front part of the bracelet is a child to the lower arm and the back part of the bracelet is a child to the front part of the bracelet. And then the front part of the bracelet is welded to the lower arm and the back part of the bracelet is welded to the front part of the bracelet. So if I snap this one here, first press will just snap it into position, second press will turn it so that it maintains the relative rotation with its parent. And now if I select both, and snap them, they will go back to their original position. So with Kineflex, I can move this bracelet like this. I can rotate it like this to come up with all possible natural looking positions. And then it will follow, always follow the arm. When the arm goes like that, we can very quickly and easily adjust the position of the bracelet so that it looks natural. When the arm goes in the other direction, the bracelet will obviously hang like this because it's pulled by gravity. So this is how it's used. It's extremely powerful and I'm sure that you can come up with all kinds of applications and it's not just limited to uh, bracelets and sleeves. Now let's uh, remove the metadata from all these elements. They're not rigged anymore and I will just uh, move them away from each other. Okay. Now we obviously have the magnet targets inside, so everything would be properly positioned. Let's rig them now. So I will grab the freestyle rigging tool and I will rig this way. I'll put the hand there and I'll rig it like this. And now just uh, for the sake of less distraction, I will remove these elements. I will put this here over the lower arm. And this time I will rig from the lower arm toward the sleeve. So the sleeve becomes a child of the lower arm. And now I will hide the lower arm and bring the back of the sleeve there. And then I will rig from the front part of the sleeve toward the back part of the sleeve. So the back part of the sleeve is a child to the front part of the sleeve. I will uh, clear the panel and we'll load the rig so that we can see it. Doesn't look as pretty, but we should be able to rearrange them so that we can see what we have done. If we control click on the elements, it will be selected. And if we activate the stage updates, 
in the status bar of the panel, you will see the names upon rolling over the individual nodes. So this is the lower arm, this is the upper arm, this is the front part of the sleeve, and this is the back part of the sleeve. Now I will add a controller. Make it a little larger so that we can see it better. I'll have to switch directions by flipping it horizontally. And now we can see how things behave before being welded. So now we have the hierarchy, but nothing has been welded, right? So at this stage, I wouldn't want to move the front and the back part of the sleeve individually because I might offset them. So I will come up with something, a position like this, and then I will select the front part of the sleeve and press the welder button. So one element was welded. It means that it has now been welded to its parent. If I again grab Kineflex, you will see. Now the front part of the sleeve is welded to the lower arm, but the back part of the sleeve is not welded yet. I'll undo. And I will weld the back part of the sleeve which is this one, to its parent, which is this one, the front part of the sleeve. Now when both are welded, each to each other, we have the full functionality which we wanted to get. The sleeve behaves as one element, and then it follows the arm, so it is also somehow attached to the lower arm. One final thing that I should have mentioned is that if you want to unweld an element, it's just uh, very easy. You select it and you press the weld the button again and you will get the notification that uh, the element has been unwelded. Now, as you can see, it has been unwelded and no longer follows the lower arm. Okay, so I'm, I'm hopeful that this covers everything about how you rig the elements and how you weld them. Now let's go back to our robot girl here and look at how I rig the skirt. So I'll just double click and let's look at what is inside this uh, symbol here. Now just to make things easier to control, I have put the front and the back of the skirt in a way so that they're the same symbol and on the second frame I see both while on the first frame I only see the front. Now obviously it doesn't really matter what we have behind if they overlap perfectly it doesn't really matter that the back part is not just like this just the back part of the skirt it doesn't really matter that it includes the front. It just allows me much better control. And what I have done is I have set up my smart graphic control panel so that it only shows me the odd numbers, which is the front parts of the skirt, and I can switch between them. The back, which is a synced element, is synced with an offset of one. In this way, when I choose frame number one for my front element, for my front element, choose frame number one, I get frame number two for my back element, which results in the back element showing this frame, while the front element showing only the front part of the skirt. And there is a, just a new, very handy function in a smart graphic control panel, which allows you to temporarily hide some of the elements. I'll demonstrate that as well. Let me just load all of them. Now you can see, we see both. And now holding down shift, I will click on the even numbers 
and they will just be hidden. So we only end up with one, three, five, seven, and nine, all the odd number skirts. And it's very cool. What else? I've just come up with a bunch of cool poses. You can see welded elements look very nice and work very well. So I think that this covers everything about Element Welder for Kineflex. I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.